Exact interest is based on exactly how many days are in a year, so 365 days. And ordinary interest, also called banker's interest, is based on 360 days. 360 days was used for calculations to make calculations easier, before calculators were widely available. Exact and ordinary interest are used with simple interest, where interest is only calculated on the original principal amount, not the sum of the principal and accumulated interest. The formula for simple interest is I equals P times R times T, where I is interest, P is principal, R is rate, and T is time. Exact and ordinary interest are going to affect the time variable in this formula, and the time variable will be a fraction. If you're using exact interest, time, or T, will be equal to the number of days in the time period over the number of days in a year. So, for exact interest, the denominator, the bottom number, will be 365 for 365 days. If you're using ordinary interest, time, or t, will equal the number of days in the time period over 360. So for ordinary interest, the denominator, the bottom number, will be 360 for 360 days. So as you can see, these formulas are the same, except for the denominators. As a comparison example, let's say that a company borrows $200,000 to upgrade its facility. The loan will be for 150 days at a simple interest rate of 7.5%. What is the interest paid using exact interest and using ordinary interest? Starting with exact interest, using the simple interest formula of interest equals principal times rate times time, we have the principal of $200,000, the rate of 7.5%, which we need to convert to a decimal by dropping the percent sign and moving the decimal two places to the left to give us 0 0.075. And for the time, we have 150 days over 365 days. Next, we can do the division of 150 over 365, which equals 0.411 rounded off. So now we have $200,000 times 0 0.075 times 0 0.411. And calculating out, we get $6,165. So that is the interest paid using exact interest. Now for ordinary interest. We use the same formula, I equals P times R times T. We have $200,000 times 0 0.075, the rate, and for time, we have 150 days over 360 days this time, since we're using ordinary interest. The division of 150 days over 360 days calculates to 0 0.417 rounded off. So now we have $200,000 times 0 0.075 times 0 0.417. And calculating out, we get $6,255. So comparing, we have $6,165 in interest using exact interest, and $6,255 using ordinary interest. So more interest using ordinary interest. And this makes sense because the fraction or decimal value for ordinary interest will always be slightly larger than exact interest because you're dividing by a smaller number, 360 days for ordinary interest. Here's another example on the screen for you of comparing exact and ordinary interest. All right, my friends, hopefully you got something out of this video. I do have sh sh more videos right there for you. Till next time, I am out of here.